hello and welcome to my support solutions youtube channel so in this video session we will learn about defined attributes of system messages but before we start if you have not yet subscribed to our my support solutions youtube channel then please click on the subscribe button also don't forget to click on the bell icon so that you will get the latest updates after every new video upload this is totally free if you like our video then please click on the like button also share our videos now we start the topic so first we will take one example and then we will do practical our company is abc limited our plant is 1000 we want to raise one purchase order for our material 100-100 five quantity five pieces now at the time of creating this purchase order we have manually changed this delivery date to 23rd july 22 so this date is a non-working day in our plant now what system do system gives us the warning message as next work uh, next work day is 25th 7 22 that is monday our requirement is instead of this warning message system should give us error message system will calculate the next work day which is based on a factory calendar I will show you that in our practicals so first step uh, menu path SPRO IMG materials management purchasing environment data and define attributes of system messages click on execute double click on system messages now our requirement I will show you the word file is this delivery date so this message is i will click on the position button version double zero area me and message number zero eight zero enter this is version application area message number delivery date next work day and so the here you can observe that this is a warning message now like this this is a warning message now we want the error message here okay so what we will do we will change this to e that is error if you click on this button find button then now see blank is no message w means warning and e means error message so here we will select e our requirement is error message and not warning message now save data was saved now i will show you about uh, the factory calendar from where system calculates this next work day so just a minute now see here maintain calendar execute factory calendar and click on display now uh, we follow 01 that is factory calendar germany standard select now here we can observe that our work days is from uh, monday to friday and we have uh, in our example we have changed this delivery date to 23rd july 23rd july is saturday so this is a non-working day hence system has given here the warning message that is next working day is 25th july that is on monday uh, just now we have changed this to error message okay so now what we'll do we will use uh, ME21N transaction code and we will try to create a purchase order. We will change this delivery date to 23rd July and then we will observe the error. Click on the new session. We have changed this to error. ME21N creation of purchase order. enter a vendor number vendor here we have to 
enter uh, organization data our purchasing organization 1000 purchasing group 100 and company code we will enter our material material code quantity and plant enter now we will change his delivery date to 23rd that is on saturday 23 7 22 enter now see this is the error if you observe delivery date next work day is 25th 7 22 why 25th because 23rd is on saturday 25th is on monday and if you look out at our uh, factory calendar our work days is our work days are from monday to friday hence saturday sunday is holiday for our plant okay hence system has this is how system has calculate the next work day okay and this is our requirement that is system should give the error instead of the warning okay so this is how we can uh, use the uh, define attributes of system messages this is only for example so that's all for now in this video thank you for watching again please like our video please share our video and subscribe to our my support solutions youtube channel thank you very much keep in touch and bye bye